I chose franchising because um, I wanted to be my own boss, like most people that do. Um, the reason I chose franchising instead of just opening a business is because the support that you get and it makes it kind of easy. Um, well, I've done a few things. I was studying. Um, I graduated in aeronautical engineering, then decided I've always wanted to be in business, so I decided to uh, start a printing company. Um, but I wanted to go bigger and better, so I chose sex to start my business career. Um, well, in, at first, like I said, I wanted to try a business, so I chose a few different franchises. I met with a few different people, and um, then it came down to choosing who would give the most amount of support, who had the best amount of structure, and I read through um, what we call the FIM, uh, the Franchise Information Manual, I think it is. Um, uh, so I read through that, done a bit of Googling here and there, asked a few franchisees, and I thought it was the best franchise out there, so for the support, for the structure, and that's what I went for. It was the, the structure, like I said, um, the structure, the support. So we have area managers, we have franchise managers, we have um, ops report and stuff like that. So it constantly gave you people to go to to ask questions and um, it was franchise that was ongoing. It didn't seem like it was going to go anywhere in the next couple of years and that's what attracted me the most. Initially, I had to go through an assessment process. Uh, they saw if I was capable of doing it, which was another appealing fact because it wasn't any Tom, Dick and Harry that got the franchise. It was a process that you had to go through to see if you were capable of running a franchise. So I went for a three-day um, assessment um, in a store and the store assessed me. After that, they approved me and um, they made me go through a full-on training. So you have to work yourself from sales up to an area manager level. Um, finish all competency packs, going to places like uh, the training headquarters in Coventry or Watford and going through um, operations um, operations reports, going through first aid reports, etc. Um, the support I'm re receiving right now is that I could call my area manager, my franchise manager any, any time of the day and they'll be more than happy to advise me. If they're busy, I can call any of the any other franchise managers or area managers, and they're more than happy to pick up the phone and tell me where to go and what to do. It's so accessible throughout the company, so transparent, that it makes life much more easier. I started this franchise around about five months ago, but prior to that, I had to obviously do the training. Started looking into it uh, around about a year ago. I don't know if you can call them challenges, in all honesty, because, um, any kind of challenge challenge that we have faced has been, again, the support of the franchise itself that has made us overcome it. We would look for more solutions rather than problems, so we're always coming. For example, when we had this shop, it was an old meat shop, and there was a few problems, but I didn't have to worry about it. My franchise, franchise manager took care of it all, and the team behind him took care of it all. So really, it's more looking after staff and running your business, that's all you have to care about, nothing else. In all honesty, uh, it's more free time. Uh, you'll be shocked, you think that you're doing a business, you're going to have to take up more time. But it's, it's more become, you've got more of a balance, so, whereas when you're working, you're constantly working and you're at it, now I can nip out if I have to, if I've got other priorities, I do that, but it's, it's become much easier and um, it's helped much more as well. I actually thought when I started, I actually thought that if I done retail I'd hate it because I had done a few temp jobs during summers during my university life and I hated retail. I, I thought, no, I'm never going there again. Um, but when I actually trained in a, a sex, it was, it, it never felt like retail. It felt much more relaxed, it felt much more easier and it was much more fun and that's what you want. You want something that you enjoy, something that you want to come back to doing again and again and that's what sex is all about. The advice I would give is, is basic, go ahead and do it. There's no ifs and buts about it because um, sex, I believe, is one of the best franchises out there. It is the best franchise out there. Um, the only thing I say is that people get put off by second-hand goods and before I came into it I thought, okay, second-hand goods, you know, who's going to buy them? But you'll be shocked the amount of market that there is out there for it and it's always growing. 
and sex is always adapting towards the market. So I think um, if you speak to our commercial team, they'll tell you that we used to sell a lot more games, and then now we've turned because the markets moved towards the phones. We sell more phones now, so they're constantly working on it 24/7. So you can't lose out because you're always it's a evolving business, and as long as you're moving with the market, you're not going to get lost. So don't think about it, just do it. If I wouldn't recommend the sex franchise, I wouldn't be expanding because I'm planning to, within my first five months, I'm planning to open a second one or take over another one. So I would definitely recommend it. And yeah, I would definitely recommend it. I wouldn't think about it twice. My future goals with sex is to be a multiple store owner um, and to manage a few stores and carry on evolving with the business and seeing where it goes.